Hi, this is Kim and I'm going to show you a basic male grooming on my friend Rich here. Uh, that was before and this is an after. I started by using this close shave oil from Dermalogica. Um, you can use it with a, an electric razor as well. This is a good option, the Remington Face Saver. It's a powder. I like it uh, a lot. This is the Wall Super Close Shave, rechargeable and cordless. Great razor. Uh, shaves very close um, and I like it. So I'm going to keep talking while I uh, you watch me shave here. Um, Rich has really decent skin. He doesn't have any major uh, breakouts or anything like that. But his skin tone is not even, um, as you can see in his cheek area um, and on his forehead. So if uh, Rich is not a model, but if he was, um, you know, we'd want to even out his skin tone for the shoot. Um, I'm showing here. This is the Embryolase um, moisturizer. Uh, and I'm going to apply that all over his skin. Um, again, with this, I'm going to use this Sigma um, Kabuki brush. It's a flat angle brush. You can use your hands or uh, sponge as well. Um, to go back to what I was saying, uh, you know, even if you're not a model or an actor, um, you can wear makeup. Just have to apply it very lightly and very naturally um, as a man. Uh, make sure and get the neck, um, your ears, moisturize your whole skin. I ended up using Face Atelier on Rich in the number eight with the plus zero, um, which is an adjuster. Atelier has um, a plus plus, it has a uh, warm, some different options. So that lighter tone is the eight and the darker is the plus O. And I'm just adding a little bit of that um, to get the the perfect foundation tone for Rich. Um, you can use a tinted moisturizer, you can use different foundations. Um, the key is to really blend and work your brush, um, you know, work the foundation into the skin really, really well. You don't want men to look like they're wearing makeup. You really just want them to look like they have beautiful skin. Um, whether this is for yourself or if you're doing this for a client, a model or an actor, um, you know, even a, a groom, a bridegroom, you might want to make, you can see the difference there. Like that just looks like perfect skin and um, really pretty. I mean, it, it's, it's a beautiful color. Um, I mean, handsome. This is the Sigma um, brush. It's that Kabuki brush again I used for the moisturizer. And I love it. It's very dense, but it's soft at the same time. And it feels good on your skin. And you can just really work the product in. Now, Rich's neck is quite a bit lighter than his face. Um, so what I've, what's great about this with the adjuster is that I can add just a little more adjuster to the color. And I can get, uh, get it to match perfectly to his face. The other key, and here's a little tip, make sure on men, um, even more so than women, make sure you get, or if you're going to change the skin tone on anybody, um, get the ears um, really well, the neck, the back of the neck. Um, if everything is even, uh, then it won't look like makeup. It'll look very real. Here I am buffing, um, just buffing it out. I clean the brush up a little bit and I'm just really gonna buff out all the makeup and into his skin. The next step is to use a uh, no color powder. I like a no color powder. I like, I, this one's from La Femme. I also use our CMA's no color powder. Um, I just put this beautiful foundation tone on his skin. I don't wanna use a colored powder that's gonna change the color. Um, I like the color. So there's my other suggestion, use a no color powder. Um, now you can see I'm making sure I'm powdering everything. All I'm doing is setting the foundation and also getting rid of any shine. All right, next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use a little bit of brow gel. Um, you can use it's a no color mascara or brow gel just to keep the eyebrows in place. And for a final step, you can add a little bit of chapstick, um, but nothing shiny on his lips. Um, and that's it. Basic male grooming. Have a good day.